Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Alan from Monda Tech, and lately I've been getting some questions of how you can use two audio output devices at the same time. May it be a headphone, earphone, 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 headphone, headphone, headphone speakers, or whatsoever, but just exactly two headphone or audio output device. I'll be making a future video of how you can use more than two, but for this time, I'll be going with the basics. So first of all, we're gonna head over to our desktop, go to our browser, and the software that I'll be using for today is actually called the Steel Series GG. I made a video about the software already when it comes to your microphone, but some people don't know the secret trick that it can actually allow you to listen to two audio devices at the same time on your Windows machine without having to go with latency stuff. So yeah, let's just download this software. And after you download it and install it, you're gonna be popping up with this as your main window, Steel Series GG. Now I'm actually using this software right now for a different purpose. So some settings I might not change, but this is how you do it. You head over to the Sonar GG app or the Sonar tab, top left, and then you wanna click on streamer mode. And now what you can do is actually press on the gearbox on the master, and then on the personal mix, this is gonna be your audio device number one. And then on stream mix, this is gonna be your audio device number two. Now, I am using the SteelSeries Sonar stream because I'm actually outputting this straight to OBS, but that's for a different video. Just think of it as this is your second device. Let's say this is the HyperX Cloud Flight right here. Just gonna go both ways. Now, the first thing that you will notice is that it just works as intended, it just works. Now you have these levels, this is gonna be your main device level. So these ones are set to 20 right now. And then let's just say once again, the Sonar is these headphones. These are currently, currently set to 100. Now let's say you have your Discord chat. Because on Discord, if you actually head over to Discord, go into settings, go into voice and video. On this tab right here, I have my output device set to chat. Chat means this segment right here. Majority of the stuff that you're gonna be playing would be on the game, even in your browser. So what does that allow you to do? Set actual individual preference audio by applications, if that makes sense, per audio output device. So let's say right now on these earphones, the left one is these earphones and then the right one, again, let's just say it's the headphones. What I can do here is actually have 100% volume here, but on the headphones, they don't wanna hear it too much. So I'm just gonna put that down. But let's say they wanna hear Discord, like a lot. I can just put that up and I don't wanna hear Discord that much. Or even I don't wanna hear Discord, but my friend sitting right next to me wearing these headphones, they can still hear Discord, but I can't. And that is massive. Of course, right now the mic is set to enabled. That means you can actually hear it. My friend, let's say with the headphones can hear it. And then if I enable this one, I can hear the mic as well. But you get the point. There's nothing much about the specific video that we have for today. This software can do a lot more. And I really love the way that I can enable, use two earphones at the same time, but also have individual sliders for specific audio that is coming out from the same PC, uh, which is amazing. But that is basically it. Again, this is Alan from Monda Tech. Thanks so much guys for watching this video. If it did help you, then make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. And of course, don't forget to check out my personal socials or even my website at the description down below. Thanks so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.